Today is going to be a quick video, um, I guess a first impressions and kind of review on um, a couple of items from the new Taraji Mac line. Now I had a friend and God bless his soul, I had a friend to actually buy these items um, unbeknownst to me and surprise me with them and I am so, so grateful. Um, he did it just so that I could review it and so yeah, again, thank you to you. And um, I'm just gonna like hop right into it because I haven't opened them yet. And yeah, I wanted to do that on camera. So here we go. All right, so he actually purchased me the Taraji Strip Me Down Lipstick and the Hot and Naughty Two Black Lash Mascara. Woo, yeah. Um, and so I tried to go on the MAC website and actually purchase the highlight and blush myself. However, I'm sure many of you know by now that there was a little mix up and apparently they labeled the items wrong. And so they say sold out on the website, but apparently that was their reason for like pulling them. That's what I've heard anyway. So um, I wasn't able to get those items, but Hopefully in the future, um, I'll still be able to grab them. But for right now, this is gonna be it, the lipstick and um, mascara, which I'm actually excited about because the mascara is the two in one. And um, and I've actually been like on the market for some mascaras. So really excited about both of these products. So if my look, like if I look a little incomplete right now, that's why um, I, intentionally did not complete my look so that I could use both of these things. All right, so the lipstick comes in the standard MAC packaging. We all know what that looks like. And um, this is the mascara. Now, if you look closely, um, you'll see that the top solid portion of the package is actually one wand and then the glittery portion is another one and so supposedly one is for a more natural look and one is for um, a more dramatic look and so I don't have on any mascara at least not on my top lashes I put a little on my bottom um for whatever reason because I had falsies on earlier but I don't use mascara with my falsies anyway I digress um I'm going to be using one on one side and one on the other and then I'm going to get into the lipstick. Um, I think I'm most excited. Well, I was most excited about the blush after I saw Vicki Logan's review on that. I was like, yep, gotta get it. But like I said, they were sold out. So um, I'm really excited about this lipstick though. I don't have any shades that look like that. Not that I think. So yeah, um, that's going to be a good thing for me. All right, so first I'm gonna use the the one that gives you the more natural finish and we'll see how this goes. That definitely does give you a more natural finish because it's really not my taste. <laughs> as far as when I'm not wearing falsies and I wear like, I, I wear my lashes. When I'm not wearing falsies and I just, you know, walk out with mascara, I like it to do a little more than what this is doing for me. So I guess um, for what they intended it for, it does work. Now, you might think that this is clumping, but it's actually not. I told you guys that I had falsies on earlier. Um, and so I probably just didn't get all of the glue because I really didn't know I was gonna be shooting this today. Um, so yeah, I didn't get all the glue or anything. Um, so that's my fault. It actually is not clumping if you guys are able to pick that up on camera. And like I said, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys um, when I finish both eyes. And now I'm gonna go in on this eye with the one that's supposed to make it a little more dramatic. And we'll see what this does. Okay, that's definitely a difference already. I know 
some people don't, but I like to get like way. I, I like to get every lash if I can. So. Man, they may have really sold me on this mascara. I mean, I'm like ODing right now. But um, I can see a difference. I love that on this eye. All right, so this is the eye that has um, the dramatic, that I use the, um, oh my gosh, the one for vo volumizing. Um, this is that eye, and let me move my hands at all focus. And then, this is the eye that I did the more natural. Um, I used the one that was for the more natural look. I don't know why I'm stumbling on my, over my words. Like, I don't understand. Anyway, yeah, and then if I show you side by side, I think the mascara is great, honestly. Um, but this, using this one, the one for volumizing, would have to be my favorite one. I don't think I'll ever use this one because I never really go for a like natural look. I mean, if I wanna go for a natural look, I would just wear my eyelashes with no mascara. And so, yeah, for me, this one is going to do it. like. Yeah, love that. Yeah, I haven't heard many people talk about the mascara. I don't think I've heard anyone talk about the mascara. And so, um, I'm actually glad that I got to do that. And like I said, I I love it. Like, I could see myself walking out of the house more without falsies now. And now, for the lipstick, I'm hoping this looks good on me. So, I'm not going to use a lip liner or anything. I was going to put a little Vaseline on my lips because they are a little dry. But I was like, hmm. Um, I don't want to take away from like the actual review, you know what I'm saying? I want to tell you guys how it feels and everything and um, whether it feels dry or not, so yeah. shade especially for a woman of color I'm glad that it's not something that looks great just on lighter skinned um, people and that it looks good on me because I'll be honest like my shade um a lot of stuff like I have to kind of uh, I have to work it in with a lip liner and I felt like initially I was scared that I was gonna have to do that with this like that I was just about to look like a clown or something um, but it's actually very, very flattering on me. And so I think it's a great everyday color for any shade of, um, of black, really. I don't care if you're like what end of the spectrum you're on. I think this will look good on anyone. However, that being said, it still wouldn't be my go-to, um, neutral shade. Like if I had to pick one to recommend to any woman of color, it would have to be Milani's teddy bear it looks good on you it feels good that is just my go-to at the moment I haven't found anything high-end or low-end that kind of trumps that I just I don't or I haven't <laughs> as far as the feel though I'm not a fan of how it feels now it is a matte so I totally understand um, with matte shades comes like the drying and all that however I immediately felt like I needed to like lick my lips <laughs> or like I should have added a gloss or something so I don't know if I'll be totally wearing this on its own um I'll have to figure that out but as far as the shade alone goes I do like it here's the thing about duping you don't just want to dupe something for the color you want to go for the feel and the quality as well and to me it's not a true dupe if the quality like sucks you know what I'm saying like if the color is there but the product only lasts for like two minutes that's not a real dupe to me and so I don't know of a dupe for this color um and let me do a kiss test really quick so it didn't come off and it's it's matte and it didn't come off on the kiss test so that's a really good thing but um yeah I just don't know if I can recommend this as like the number one um neutral shade for women of color but it definitely is up there and um 
I'm satisfied with it. I'll be wearing it. But the mascara, now the mascara, this thicker wand, this bottom wand, that was everything to me. Like, I love it. <laughs> so yeah, I recommend this if you're on the market for a mascara. The lipstick, the lipstick is kind of up there. It's like more so if you just feel the need to try it, then by all means, try it. But if you're like not particular about the shade and you just want something that's neutral and that you know would look good on your skin tone milani's teddy bear so yeah that is my first impression slash review of the um lipstick strip me down and the hot and naughty mascara from the taraji p henson mac line i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it was more so helpful even more than you guys enjoying it i hope that it was helpful to you guys if you were on the fence about purchasing anything i hope this helped a lot and um i'm so sorry that i couldn't get the blush and um the highlight but again that's on mac because your girl was willing to buy i'm gonna be finishing up my fall series i know guys i know it was supposed to be a straight seven days of the series and let me tell you it's a lot that goes into youtube and i really just got drained last week with um, filming, editing, and doing my other, you know, my wifely duties and being a mom of four. And so um, I kind of bit off more than I could chew, but I'm gonna get that last video up. It's gonna be my fall favorites. It'll be up, uh, do, 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 do. by the end of this week, it will be up. I have that and I have one more video that I wanna get in this week. And um, so yeah, be on the lookout for those. Until next time, love you guys and bye. And also, okay, also one more quick thing before I go. I see that my subscriber, my subscriber, my subscriber account has jumped like, I think like 31, there's Ava. Um, I think like 31 people within a week. And so welcome to all you guys and thank you so much to, I'll be glad my battery dies. <laughs> But thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and just yeah i cannot wait um to continue to grow with you guys and yeah just thanks 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 so much for subscribing all right now i'm really done love you guys bye